So welcome to our first breed exam uh, in our fiber study. I took time this week to make a um, how I prep the fiber video. So all of these are going to be prepped the same, but this week we are working on poop sorts. And it is honestly um, a very nice um, yarn to spin. It spins up pretty nice. Um, it is scratchier than I thought it would be. There's a good section right there. Um, I'm having trouble. There we go. Uh, it is definitely um, different. It spins like a dream, first off. Okay, it spins. It's really easy to spin. Uh, the information that I found from the Fleece and Fiber source book um, didn't classify it as a long wool. Online, it was classified several places as a long wool. If I had to classify it by putting everything in categorization, I would definitely have put this in as a long wool. Um, I'm not real sure what the Fleece and Fiber uh, source book or whatever that is. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure their reason for not putting it as a long wool. Um, it's a relatively new breed. Um, Coopsworth was started by crossing Border Lester and Romney Dells by a gentleman named Ian Coop uh, of New Zealand. And it's a really, really relatively new breed. It was uh, started in 1950 and it didn't make its way to the United States until 1970. So um, we're talking, you know, not even as old as me. Okay, it's as old as me. Just hasn't been in the United States as long as I have. So. Um, yeah. So, it's a nice to spin yarn. It's a very forgiving yarn. Um, all the schlubs and, and such, uh, second cuts, all that kind of stuff, there we go, um, spin right out of it. It spins like a dream. Uh, the only thing that I would say it's a little bit coarser than I thought it would be. Now, according to everything that I've read, Coopsworth um, has different variations in the fiber. The one standard thing that I found all over the internet in the book with our sample is it said it's a five to seven inch staple, which is true. So um, it is not a. It's soft. I mean, it's not irritating. But I wouldn't want to wear it near my face. Maybe a scarf, hat, socks. Um, definitely decent. Just not something I'd want to wear long term to my face. So, um, anyway, there's the coop's worth. All nice and spun up. I have not swatched with it yet, but I will. And then I will get it in my book. Um, next one up is Gotland. So, hopefully you can either find a sample or at least tune in to see how that turns out. 